hemispheric dominance of the brain. The left and the right hemispheres of the brain, specialize in different tasks. Hemispheric asymmetries are universal and can be found in diverse species, from honeybees to killer whales. In humans, they profoundly modify neurocognitive systems from perception to action and are associated with most mood and cognition related neural pathologies. A single hemisphere can control entire choice patterns. This is not only visible in split brain patients but also in meta control tasks with healthy subjects in which two hemispheres are brought into conflict. It has not yet been fully understood how one hemisphere assumes dominance over the other when it comes to controlling specific functions. Biopsychologists at Ruhr University at Bochum describe about the neural fundaments of brain asymmetries in the journal Cell Report published on the 30th of October 2018. Professor Ono Gunshur Khan, Department of Biopsychology, Institute of Cognitive Neuroscience, Faculty of Psychology, Ruhr University Bochum, Germany have demonstrated in pigeons that the dominance is caused by slight differences in temporal activity patterns in both hemispheres. The two hemispheres are connected via commissures, thick nerve fiber bundles. In the past, it had been assumed that the dominant hemisphere transmits inhibitory signals to the other hemisphere via the commissures, thus suppressing specific functions in that region. However, the interactions that take place between the two hemispheres are excitatory, as well as inhibitory. This makes the functional brain asymmetries a mystery. In order to analyze the influence of interhemispheric interaction, the researchers occasionally blocked the activity of the neurons that communicate with the other hemisphere and monitored the reactions of those neurons that usually receive input from the other hemisphere. Thus, they were able to decode the influence of the interaction between the two hemispheres. The result is if both brain hemispheres compete for control, the left hemisphere is able to delay the activity of neurons in the right hemisphere. The right hemisphere simply acts too late to control the response. The researchers demonstrated that the neurons in the left and the right hemispheres are also capable of synchronizing their activity in principle. These results show that hemispheric dominance is based on a sophisticated mechanism. It does not hinge on one general inhibitory or excitatory influence, rather it is caused by minute temporal delays in the activity of nerve cells in the other hemisphere. Thank you.